Hi, welcome to Universal Interiors. My name is Les Engelstead and I am with you today in a privileged place at my house and just so grateful I get to share what's on my heart. And um, I just love how God just kind of deposits different things from conversations or books I've read or somebody has said. And it's great because a number of you will talk to me about a few things or how about this or I like this. So I love that kind of feedback and I appreciate it a lot. But Oftentimes I do go to just little small books, something that I just read, I just love. Like recently I read this part and it just says, if you learn to forgive yourself and to forgive others and live with thanksgiving, you will never need to chase happiness down for it will chase you down. Like that was a good one, I thought. Deposit that on in there. There's different things like that. It's just good for you. And I would challenge you, if you hear something on uh, maybe a movie you're watching, book you've just read, a song, or somebody said, just have an open notebook handy, and it doesn't matter how old you are. Just have it handy because it's such a great thing to just turn to and like, oh yeah, that was a good, that was a good thought. That was a good way to look at it. Or yeah, that's right. And that might help you get through something that you're walking through that's not very fun. It's what I try to do anyways, besides always um, going into God's Word because that's packed power packed of what I need for the day for sure every single time but there's a little book and you probably a number of you don't sweat the small stuff books that were out there it's all small stuff though whatever something like this but this one anyways I picked up last night and it was just kind of fell whoosh right to it and I don't really recall when I got it or anything about it but I thought it was great just because it was titled put things in perspective so people have addictions, they get through, they're overwhelmed, they get bent out of shape, so many different things can happen to them, just stresses, right? But somehow a lot of that is still really the small stuff. It's what you've been feeding, what you've been looking at. Um, there's big things. There's things like death, illnesses, uh, just a number of really big things in life. But at the same time, it seems like a human condition, we can buck up and get after that stuff and we're covered, but it's the little things that keep getting us messed up. So it's the perspective of what are you going to do with what's messing your world up. And my husband and I often t talk about that really it's just a mere inconvenience. It's what's going on right now. Yeah, sh really? Tire? What? We just fixed the car. You know, all those kind of things that happen whatever it might be. What? The taxes? Are you kidding me? You know, there's just so many things that can get to just messed up. Or how about you're in the kitchen or you're doing the dishes or again, or you got to go do the yard. All of it is like, wait a minute, if you got the right perspective, you would say, oh, but I have a house. Mm, I have a yard. I have a family to clean up after. So all of that is something that we need to just stop and consider. Like we got to get less hung up on if our homes are not clean or the clothes we don't have or like theirs over there. All of that stuff just makes us get that victim mentality and that's not healthy. That's not where we should be walking out in. We should be strong and secure in what we've been given and trust that we are going to be able to do something with what we've been given. Because see a lot of us just go through these things. We just don't quite understand why somebody else has it a little bit better than we do. Again, that's nonsense. Nobody, the richest, the poorest, the oldest, the wisest, the most successful, they all have something going on. And hopefully we can just stop that little grace killer trying to compare our lives with somebody or trying to control theirs over there and just get to the fact of just realizing, you know what? We're really not such big shots and we all kind of have our own deals that we're not proud of, but there's a lot of things and gifts inside of us that we should be proud of and that's the things that we should really focus on. But years ago, I did a series called Breaking Free and I actually did it three times. People tease me about breaking free from breaking free because I was so hung up on it because there was so much though and I thought this is such an interesting take. And anyways, uh, literally, it was over 20 something in here is from 20, what was it, 2002. So that's probably the last time I was doing the study. But I pull it out now and then. I just, there's a lot there. Like I said, daily, if you can find something good to pull out of, write it down if it's something really great. Or otherwise, again, maybe it'll be just enough 
to change your perspective, to get grateful again. But this I thought was great, so I'm going to read it. And I've probably even shared it before, but guess what? We'll hear it again. Okay. If I only could realize that we make life so much more complicated when we approach our life to it's all about me. You know why that is? The rest of the world never cooperates. No one else appears to have gotten that memo. You see, when we see ourselves as the center of the universe, we live in constant frustration because the rest of creation refuses to revolve around us. And here's a key. Life vastly simplifies and satisfaction greatly amplifies when we begin to realize how awesome our God is because God is God. And frankly, it's all about Him. And thank goodness, because He is the center of the universe. How can we live with such a God-centered mentality if we all got that? How would we live if you think about it? Well, we'd be pretty free, wouldn't we? We would be freed up. Because with God, it's all about us. We seek to please Him, and He seeks to perfect us. And that's the way life should work. It's not going to be without pain, but it will always have purpose. I just thought that's amazing. And in his word, he talks of, you know, that he's the potter, we are the clay. We're being fashioned. We're being put together as his design is. And all around us, no matter what time in the century we've been born in, we all have a purpose. And we got to do our part. But if we get hung up, um, we're going to miss out what's, what we're intended to be about on this earth, to how we should walk ourselves. Just, I'm grateful for it because I'm mostly really confident in who Leslie Inglestead is. I mean, I'm messy in many areas too, but I'm so confident because I know that God only wants the very best for me, right? And if you can't quite get that and you think you got it, you're going to be tied up to a lot of chains. And those kind of things, you got to start letting them drop off you, no matter what your age is. Believe me, as a 60-some-year-old lady, no way as a 30-some-year-old lady would I have a clue of what I learned in 30 years. I mean, it's amazing. But one of them is, is that I really don't have it together like I thought I did, but I'm okay with it. Because you see, humility is so key. And that's what like I just read about, you know, we just get this world where we really think anybody's paying attention to us when walking in the room. Maybe a couple. They might give us an over once look, but then they're off thinking about themselves. Oh, maybe my hair's kind of funny. Her hair's weird. Maybe I should pull my f hair forward. I mean, really? That's what we do, though. Or we walk by the mirror. Oh, do I really look like that? Oh, man. Anybody else looking at you? No, probably not. See, it's not about us, it's about a creator of us. So I hope you get that, I hope you're challenged by it, but at least take some time, get that perspective right, put a little nugget of gold inside, um, and know that God is love, pure and simple, and he wants the very best for his kids. Thanks again for tuning in today, and I hope you have a mighty fine day. Enjoy the gifts you have been given, and start walking them out. Appreciate it, see you next time.